President and CEO Tyler Wall. Tyler, good to have you with us. Give us a sense of the kind of uh, demand you're seeing on your side for silver. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, the demand has been incredible. Uh, started pretty much, uh, well, started earlier this month with the uh, Senate. Uh, split Senate between the Democratic and Republican, Republican Party. And then with GameStop and the Reddit uh, situation last week, uh, we've seen that transition now to the precious metal market. Um, pretty much physical silver, it's almost all gone in terms of live inventory. There's still a few items left for people to uh, buy. Um, and I noticed, or uh, I heard you speak about the, the physical price at 2865 per ounce. Uh, but that's actually that's actually more of the paper price. Uh, currently, we're seeing the premiums with the price to pay over spot where t to get actual physical silver in your hands is skyrocketing. I mean, most stuff on our websites at least thirty percent over spot, and we can't source it for much less than that right now from our wholesalers. So, Tyler, fair to say that people are kind of hoarding silver; they're not trying to make a profit right now. Right. We're seeing very few customers sell back to us in this market, and everybody's buying. Um, wholesalers basically have non-existent inventory. Uh, we, we were able to get a couple orders in tonight at market open with, uh, with our suppliers, but th they've since told us they've wrapped it up for the night, and uh, we just got an email uh, a few minutes ago saying that they're essentially re from one of our suppliers saying they're resetting prices in the morning. So. We're not really sure where the prices are going to go as it relates to the physical metal. Um, paper prices, you know, that's one part of the price. But the actual physical price, the price it, it would take for you to acquire uh, physical silver is a different, it's a different animal. So do you uh, see a, Tyler, a major just come squeeze? Up with a question, we just got some news breaking at the moment coming out of uh, Myanmar. Uh, Tyler, that's some news coming out of Myanmar, but I want to get back to the silver uh, issue. Now, what we saw last week was huge short squeezes. Were, was there, were there many positions to squeeze when it came to silver and what happened in the last few hours and days? Right. So uh, retailers in the, here in the United States especially, we had to shut down our websites. Uh, I think almost everybody shut down their websites late uh, Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Um, as it relates to us, we sold 10 times our normal weekend volume. So in order for us to you know, hedge our market position, we have to make an a, a educated guess on how many ounces we'll sell over the weekend. And... Um, you know, we we thought we'd still have a good weekend. We didn't we didn't guess anything close to what it turn, was turned out to be. So we were we were hedged where we normally would be hedged for uh, a long weekend. But we've already we already sold through ten times our average in the first twenty four hours of our trading. We shut down the website. Um, the talk around the industry was how many people were short uh, physical metal. Everybody was so short physical metal based on the volume that they've sold. Uh, tonight at market open, you saw it spike up a dollar fifty. I think we're, I think it went up to about twenty nine, a little bit over twenty nine dollars uh, an ounce for silver. Uh, it's pulled back a little bit here tonight, but um, yeah, it's it's still there's still lots of uh, volume. Our, our, our website's uh, uh, been able to, to stay up, but we have tons, thousands and thousands of people on the website currently trying to buy physical silver, and there's there's not too many products left for people to buy. Uh, Tyler, the point that it also uh, comes to is, you know, are there a lot of naked shorts out there? That's one part of it because it dovetails into the other part, which is a lot of people are actually perhaps going to take delivery of this silver. Well, what are you making of that? Right. So, um, yeah, I would say that traditionally speaking, the, the banks uh, have been incredibly short, you know, silver. Um, when you look at the, uh, the trading reports, uh, the top banks are, are incredibly short silver. Uh, in March of last year, when the pandemic hit, um, there was, you know, you saw a divergence between the bank counter price, the, you know, the price that banks were, were trying to transact at, and what the futures price was, which would be the delivery price. And uh, I think in, in gold, it got up to like 70 or $80 an ounce uh, over spot. And, and silver, it, silver, there wasn't nearly as a big of a squeeze as what we're potentially seeing here uh, starting this last end of this last month going into February. Uh, I don't, I, we have to play out. We'll see how the U.S. market reacts at the, at the open tomorrow. But there's definitely, it's definitely, uh, 
you know, we've been doing this since 2012, and there's never been a weekend or a period of time that's been like what we've seen over the last 40 to 72 hours. Uh, Tyler, if you if you have to hazard a guess, do you think this will move to gold? I think, really, um, I think that the initial uh, demand uh, from the Reddit community was that basically attack silver. Um, I think silver is a much smaller market, so uh, in terms of ounces that are uh, you know above ground, and it's an, it has industrial uses that are that are uh, very strong. I mean. I was surprised it took a lot longer when when uh, Biden became president that silver didn't rally more with this green energy policy because silver is used in technology, used in green energy. Um, so I, I a bit more time for it to go to gold, but um, you know if you look at the gold to silver ratio, uh, it's come down substantially with this price move here over the last uh, seven days. But I still think it's got a, a, some room to run. Um, before it gets back to its long-term averages. Tyler, thank you for joining us. That's uh, SD Billion CEO Tyler Wool there joining us from Toledo, Ohio.